Hey guys, welcome back to another video. You've all been asking, so here we are. Welcome to the first part of my immersive railroading let's play. In this series, I plan on building a railway that connects two villages that are hundreds of blocks apart. And in this first episode, I realized just how much work I've got ahead of me as I gather my first few resources. If you enjoyed this first part, be sure to let me know by subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell, as well as dropping a like and comment down below. With all that said, let's get this thing started. So to be completely transparent with you all, I am more or less going in blind to this experience. I know there's a lot of stuff I need to gather, but to start, I've pulled up the Immersive Railroading Wiki. In the getting started section here, you can see that there are some key ingredients we need to take care of. So I'm, I'm just gonna go right down the line. So we've got a blueprint book. I've got the blueprint book here. So I need a, uh, I need a book and six steel ingots. So now I've done, I've done some research on how to get steel. And in immersive engineering, I need either an arc furnace or a crude blast furnace. Now, looks like we are on a quest for a crude blast furnace, which is, um, from what I understand, I need to get a, I need to get 27 of these blast brick blocks. I need to make like a cube. And to make blast bricks, I need nether bricks. I think I need mag magma blocks. And I get three. Okay, so first, Okay, so our priority today is set up a base of operations and get to the nether. Let's get this show on the road. Now, I've had this world for a while and our destination for our railway is right over there. It's 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 through that forest. So let's start by going through this village since we're here. I chose I chose this um seed because the villages were not an obnoxious distance away from each other. Anything in these houses? We got a chest. <gasps> oh, with a lovely supply of food and our book. We're gonna rummage around the rest of this village and see if I can gather any other supplies before we really start getting our hands dirty. And my base of operations is probably gonna be around this village anyway, given that there's like, you know, there's food sources. I can trade with the villagers if for whatever reason I need to. I don't know what uh, circumstances these mods are gonna find me in when it comes to actual gameplay, but again, I'm going in blind, so there's fun in that. I'm thoroughly excited for this. Um, <laughs> Again, I don't know what to expect or I don't know how long this is going to take, but I do know that building trains from scratch in Minecraft sounds like, oh, it sounds like so much fun. I cannot wait for this to get off the ground or rather on the rails. I can also imagine given that we're building giant trains from scratch that I'm going to need a metric crap ton of resources. So <laughs> let's grab maybe one more tree and then we'll head back to the village and start to, you know, set up a base of operations. Let's also grab this hay for the extra boost in food. This is also the first time in, I do believe I've ever done modded survival on this channel with an intent to, you know, progress to a certain extent. And I know there's gonna be a lot of you asking about my other Let's Play, you know, with the likes of The Sun and Boat Friend. Now, I don't know if that video has come out yet. I do plan on making a video about the Let's Play and how I feel about it currently. So I will link that in the top right corner if I have made that video by now. If I haven't, <clears throat> It will appear there when uh, I have it. Yeah, that's a thing. I'm gonna keep going. Now, where am I gonna set up? I know I want my railway to start maybe in this kind of field here. You know what? I'll, st I'll start in the field too. Do I want to make the house look nice? You know what? Let's let's lay a framework. We're not gonna try hard anything just yet, but we're gonna at least lay a. Fr you know what? I don't want to do that right now. I want to I want to start making progress as quick as I can because I know there's so much we have to do. So I'm going to start. Why do I keep trying to make sticks that way? I I will never find out. Okay, let's go grab some stone. Hello, cat. Bye, cat. I suppose with this uh, series going to be uh, consisting of rather longer videos, I suppose it would be a good time to introduce the multitude of new reviewers on my channel to my good friend Node. He is my editor. He is my main editor. He usually works on the Let's Play, but he's going to be helping out with this series as well. Node, why don't you tell the folks at home hello and introduce yourself? Hey, nice to meet you. It's me, Node, uh, the big man, and um. You know, I would describe myself as a uh, handsome, uh, intelligent, uh, perfect in every way. I think you can put me as just a person in general. I think, um, you know, I'm just like really cool and. Uh Let's see if we can find any good caves. What are you? Ooh, already with a fresh new ore. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I don't trust that I'm able to mine it with a uh, wooden pickaxe, <laughs> given how long it appears to take to mine. So I'm gonna hold off on taking whatever you are and I'm going to grab this coal over here. Lovely. 
All right, let's run back to our house, get ourselves a stone pickaxe and gather some more resources. Let's get ourselves a furnace. Lovely. Let me take all these um, wheat blocks and convert them into a stack minus one of bread. Lovely. Let's head back to those caves we saw earlier and maybe go a little deeper than last time. I didn't bother to make a sword. This is an error I shall rectify shortly, <laughs> given all the scary noises I'm starting to hear. The sun is going down and I should probably wrap up day one of uh, this railway construction. I mean, we didn't really construct anything yet. We still have a lot of steps to complete before we lay, even lay our first piece of rail, let alone build a locomotive and a passenger car and send it down on a track we've built to another village. Can I sleep yet? Or is the sun leading me falsely to believe that uh, it's night? Oh yeah, I gotta wait for the stars. The stars. Hey, that's my, get out of my bed. Don't you dare. No, no. All right, it is a dawn of a new day. Let's find ourselves a cave. Oh, there's a cave right here. Oh, and more of this stuff. Can I get it with a stone? <gasps> Ooh, what are you? Ooh, copper. Very interesting. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited for this. Are you, oh, you're not copper. What are you? Bauxite. I have no idea what that is, but still very down, very exciting. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's just offhand some torches. I don't have a shield, which might prove problematic. Oh, there's a flower. How nice. That's how, that actually made me feel kind of good. Not seeing anything immediately dangerous, but we do have iron. Now, here's my thinking. Since we're only looking for magma in the nether, and we're not really going to be facing off against anything, you know, quite dangerous, would it make sense for me to want to, like, not bother, uh, you know, buffing up my offense and defense with like diamond gear, I think I might be okay with iron. Now I have to say that I'm not good at Minecraft. I'm not good at combat, PVP, anything. So I know a lot of people might think, yeah, full iron's fine for the nether. You haven't seen me play. And if you want to see me play, check out the last let's play I did because, oh boy, it's it gets rough sometimes. <laughs> Cow, burger time. I hit the grass, burger time. I hit the grass again, burger time. More burger time. How much iron did we get? 16. Not a bad start. Let's throw that in there. And then, um, I don't know, maybe look for another cave from which I can extract more yummy resources. Let's, uh, let's have a gander around. What's this? <gasps> Here's a cave. Maybe I should have grabbed ladders. That sounds like a good idea in hindsight. I think I'm gonna go grab some ladders just in case I end up in situations like this where I need to, you know, oh, I gotta eat. Oh my gosh. Yet again, I, I still haven't learned. I will never learn. Oh, scared me a little. Okay, perfect. Got some iron. Let's go. Let's make some uh, armor and tools. Bang. Look at us go. <laughs> Just gonna make a few ladders. I don't know how many I'm gonna make. I don't know how many I need. I will also make me a fresh sword. I will also make me a fresh shield. Yo, the other day I was thinking, <laughs> Imagine if car doors had like regular doorknobs on them. That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yo, BSL shaders, they're so pretty. They're just really pretty. That's why. <sighs> Would you just. My bed, my house, my bed. I suppose it's my fault for setting up right next to a village. I'm sure that won't be the last time I encounter this issue, but come on. Um, but we've got 18 torches, we've got a bunch of ladders, we've got a bunch of food, we've got a sword and a pickaxe. Um, let me make a shovel, I guess. And, uh, that's all set. Let's tuck you away. I suppose I'll grab that just in case. I don't know. Okay, let me head over to the one cave I found in this direction. Go a little deeper, see what I can find, and, uh, maybe even find some steel. This is why I acquired my ladders. So I can go up and around here. Um, let's hop down. Ow, hop down again. Is there even anything down there? No, this is just a tall vertical hole. Jump, 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 jump. Um, 
You'd think because I scouted this area for villages, I would have had of maybe a little more forethought to, uh, you know, maybe look underground. Okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just settle here. Let's go down here and start digging down. It's just how it is. <gasps> Ooh, that's what we want to see. Let's see what we, let's see what we can see. Um, I see whatever that is. I don't know what that is. I see you. <gasps> is that steel? Did I find steel ore? Oh, I think we might be in business. Let's, uh, oh, water, catch me. Fabulous. Those aren't friendly noises, and that is not a friendly creature above me. Creeper. Say it with me, everyone. Ah, uh, man. Let's actually address the elephant in the room real quick. It's not an elephant in the room. It's just uh, steel ore. Silver ore. Dang. Okay. We have yet to find steel. Oh, no. We use iron ingots. Oh, I'm a little dumb, stupid face. Okay. Well, I guess while we're down here... Steel ore is not a concern of mine anymore. Oh my goodness, I'm a little tiny idiot man. And I assume you are more- Ah! Stupid, stupid things coming out of nowhere! I don't know what other creepy crawlies are afoot, but I'm gonna take it upon myself to navigate down to this lava. Are you- Wait, what are you? Get over here. Okay, so what exactly are you? Ooh! Uranium ore. Very interesting. I also know that there's some weird way you can make a nether portal using just lava and buckets, but I unfortunately don't know that trick. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's get rid of this water and let's head down to that lava pit I found. And I guess we could try. Today is a day for learning, I think. Water sources by me. What just happened? Are you kidding me right now? Fine, I'll look for diamonds. Uh, oh, another lava pit. <gasps> well, that's nice. Oh, well, hello there. Awesome. Okay, well, that just made our lives so much easier. Wow. Okay, cool. Um, Let me head back up. I don't like you. Go away. I just, like, held down right click at thinking I had a shield. I did not have a shield. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, that's an unfortunate start to this series. Let me... Oh, and it's raining and my bed is being stolen. That's lovely. Okay, now I gotta move, now I gotta move. Zombies, zombies, and a spider, and a spider, and a bunch of stuff, there's a bunch of stuff. There's so much stuff down here that's gonna kill me. I'm dead, I'm dead. <gasps> oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Tower up, tower up, tower up with something, tower up with anything, tower up, tower up, tower up, tower up. Spiders can't climb more than three blocks, right? <sighs> okay, we've got some, what, what? I thought they, oh. Uh, I've got my stuff, I've crafted my diamonds, and now, how many do I have? Six. Okay, four more. Okay, we've got 10 obsidian, and uh, I think it's time to head home. Bang! But watch, with my luck, with my luck, I'm gonna spawn in like a fortress, and it's gonna be so annoying. The sun's going down, a perfect time for me to hop into the nether, which is dangerous at all hours of the day. The nether's awfully hazy today. I also have yet to decide which locomotive I'm going to, going to construct. Do magma blocks only occur like next to, ugh, don't even. Oh, hey, hey buddy, 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 buddy. Chill, 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 chill. It's good, it's good, it's chill, it's awesome and it's epic. Yikes. Okay, let me um perhaps go down there and get some gold. <laughs> There's gold down there, but that's like stupid and far away. I'll just dig to it, whatever. Let's grab some, make ourselves a nice shiny uh, hat or some nice shoes. I'm not gonna get all the gold because I don't want all the gold. I just want what I need and to get the heck out of here because I am a danger to myself in many, uh, you know, not optimal circumstances. Basically what I'm saying is I'm bad. I'm trying to like word my way around Word my way around is a weird way to word around the word bad. Or no, not good at talking. Bad with words. Brain! Oh my god! <laughs> so I don't have to deal with any hoglins. Yes, I hear you and you're very scary and that's why I'm avoiding you, smile. Oh, there's magma blocks. Seven, eight, nine. All right. In-N-Out Burger. I've never had In-N-Out. I don't know if they have a lot of those up, uh, up in uh, upstate New York. Hey, by the way, I've been thinking about it. Let me know if you're watching this, if you're comfortable, of course. No need. I wonder where you guys are watching from. 
I'm, 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 I had that moment of like, my audience is getting large enough to the point where like, if I wanted to host like a meetup or just like, if I wanted to meet up with some of y'all, I'm wondering how close people actually are. Um, I hope I have enough materials for another bricks. I probably don't. Oh, no, I don't. I definitely don't. Let me hop back in here and grab some more, uh, mother rock. That should be well enough, right? You know what I've been listening to a lot of recently? Call me crazy. The music from Phineas and Ferb slaps more than I remember it slapping. Yeah, so there's my music recommendation for the day. Don't know where that thought came from, but um, yeah. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna make stuff tomorrow. I mean today because the the, the, the night already happened. Progress, baby. And I also just want to say I know it's a little late in the episode for me to be saying this, but at the time of recording this, I have just about it's uh, it's June first, and I have just about. Let's have a look. I think 91 and a half thousand subscribers currently. I just really want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who's been, you know, enjoying the videos and whether or not you're subscribing, just being here for this journey. I started this channel six years ago and I'm sure I can speak for a lot of YouTubers. They don't start the channel thinking it's going to work. I certainly didn't. And for this to actually be panning out the way it is, is literally, literally a dream come true. So you all mean the world to me and I know I'll never get the chance to thank each and every one of you but if I could I would that's 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 what I have to say about that matter so thank you I guess I'm just waiting for this let's see if I can uh start building my um what is it magma and then like bang 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 and then this around it <gasps> Ooh, here we go oh those look interesting they're like orange nether bricks almost that's cool so I need to make a cube of these right uh, and clicking the center of the box with an engineer's hammer. And then I have engineer's hammer pulled up here and it is sticks, iron, and string. Bang, bang, and then bang. Ooh, I have a hammer. Hammer! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sick, okay. So now I've just got to, what? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> was not prepared for that to do that. <laughs> We're gonna put you over there because I'm not confident in my own ability with this newfound power just yet. Cannot believe all of this is for a book. There's a lot to this. And then I right click on the middle of one of these surfaces like this. Really hot topic. It said, I think it said I needed charcoal. Is that correct? What I also am gonna need is more iron. So I'm gonna quickly run down and take care of that. We are on our way to getting ourselves a book. Hello, little bunny. Hi. I'm just gonna grab some uh, wood from the trees. I do not wish to disturb the houses of the villagers since they are so nice. And I'm trying to, you know, uphold a good PR image. Given that I'm going to be transporting them by rail. Okay, coal, iron in here like this and this. Oh, you slow. Uh-oh, I need to get more uh, charcoal. Gosh, I under, I, I, I uh, oh gosh, I overestimated how, I under, vastly underestimated how long this was gonna take. I really want, I wanna, I wanna get steel, which if you didn't know, is heavier than feathers. I'm sure that won't be the first time I mentioned that video in this thing with all the talk about steel. Oh boy, get ready for it. I'm also uncertain as to how much iron I'm gonna need to build, you know, locomotives. I can imagine it's a ton. Okay, um, oh. <laughs> oh boy, I need a ton of charcoal, don't I? Okay, hang on. Do we have any steel? <gasps> we have steel! We have steel! I just realized I'm uh, moving coal from one thing to a fire over and over again repeatedly. Uh, there's there's a metaphor here that I'm sure you all can you can you can guess. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited for this series. I'm so excited for this series. I'm so excited. <gasps> we've got four steel, two left, and we've got it in the bag. You know what? I think for now, for for the purposes of this part of the series, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I think I'm going to maybe build a few more of these off camera. And before the next episode begins, I will have hopefully accumulated a large surplus of steel. So so my thought process is we're going to want to make one steam locomotive, maybe one or two passenger cars. Our steel! Crafting table, crafting table, crafting table. Book, steel, steel. 
Ooh. What? Oh, what? Oh, what is that? What? Oh, oh, wait a minute. What is this? While holding but sneak and right click to toggle between the different machines. Oh, this automatically put. Okay, so wait. If I if I right click if I if I right click casting. Oh, 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 oh. That's cool. So with this, it tells me what I need. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so within the next couple of episodes. We will acquire all of the heavy machinery we need. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, what a way to start this. I think I'm gonna sleep and we're gonna call this an episode. Woo! We have started, we're, 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 we're on our way. Um, we've acquired the means of, of, of getting steel, which is good. Um, I'm gonna probably grind some, some steel off camera. I'm next when the next episode starts, I'm probably going to have like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how many of these uh, furnaces, maybe three or four, or maybe in the next episode, I can find a way to make steel faster. Or maybe I'll do that off camera. I don't know. For my uh, regular Minecraft Let's Play, I tried to do everything on camera, but the sake, but for the sake of keeping this series moving, I might um, take more liberties in just getting stuff ready between episodes. But I think that is gonna do it for the first episode of this immersive railroading let's play. Now I know we didn't I know we didn't get into any trains and stuff, but I mean we've got a lot of work ahead of us before we start laying track. But I think this is gonna be really fun. So that is gonna do it for this video. So if you like this video and you wanna see more stuff like this, then do consider subscribing and sharing this video to your friends, places, things, and the blah blah blah. But that is gonna do it for this video. And I will see all of you in the next one. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!